So this morning I'm out at a place that I've been looking to come to for a while, but there's some regulations here. So it's taken me a bit to get here. This is the northern unit for the Holochi uh, WMA, the very most northern section. There are three ponds up here that you can fish. Now, if you want to fish this place, you have to get a fishing permit from the FWC. It's free. You just got to call them. Um, you can only fish here on Saturdays and Sundays during daylight hours. It's going to be a challenge today. The reason it's going to be a challenge is we've had cold weather roll through, or cooler weather, at least here for Florida. So it's in the high 60s right now, and we've got rain coming. Uh, the issue, the bigger issue that we have right now, at least for me, is that this rain that's rolling in is not just standard rain, it's thunderstorms. It's kind of sprinkling right now. I don't mind rain, but I'm not messing around in thunderstorms. So we're going to take a look here and see if there's any real access to kind of fish here. Never fished here before, never been here before ever. Um, all the bass here are catch and release, which is a really good sign. But really kind of interested to see what's available to us. This is not, I think I got a chair here. I have a couple different setups today. I brought all three rods, crankbait on one, which may get taken off. Uh, Obviously, the Senko on another, and then I've got um, a swim bait on another one. So let's give this a shot. See what happens. There are, are at least there's at least one other pond I want to try here. Uh, there are three. One I think has no access whatsoever, except for like maybe a boat ramp. But uh, let's give this a shot and see what happens. might just skip this pond and go to the next one. I don't see any shore access on this one. This is Turtle Pond. They do have a boat ramp uh, right here off the side where you can watch kayak. There's a fish. It's not very big. I don't know if you guys saw that. He was probably all about three inches. He pulled it. My hook all messed up. <laughs> I set the hook. He must have had it down on his gullet. Because when he breached, he didn't make that big of a splash. The water here looks probably three to four feet deep and uh, the kicker is I got to try to figure out where these fish are at if they're along the shore here if they're pushed out more um, be a little difficult if I only have to can fish from this pier that one on that's not a little guy there's the first one not very big dude so interestingly enough both those bites came kind of offshore probably 10 feet from the edge of those lily pads so there might be an edge there I don't know or they must, might just be kind of out in a little bit deeper water another one on Well, I'm just killing it with the monsters today. These fish are huge. It's three. They're all tiny. <laughs> if, for whatever reason, you happen to be wondering why I'm kind of cranking the hook like that. Uh, the way that these fish are kind of hidden, it's just one bink. It's not a, a pop pop. It's just a boom. And my experience is when that happens, the fish is usually pretty big. Um, I've had... You know, several of the largest fish I've ever caught, it's, all you feel is a pop, just a stop. 
and then you go to set the hook and you don't set it hard enough and all of a sudden your rod's bending over and you pull and drag and craziness head sues. At least they're feeding. Oh, that's better than the last one. Still not a giant. Oh, his gripper teeth are sharp. Really pretty fish. I mean, he's healthy. No giant. Um, so here's the conditions that I've got for today. So besides the little spurts of rain that are rolling through, we've got some thunderstorms I think are coming through this afternoon. And I'm hoping it's cool, but it's not cold. So I'm hoping that little bit of a front is enough to get these fish up and moving before the storms hit. And so far, it looks like it. It's uh, four casts and three, four fish or four different bites. He's got a jam pretty good in his cheek. I gotta get him on here. So that's the biggest one of the day so far. So no monster, but if they're all piled up over here, that's a good sign. That's another giant. Nope. Oh, that was a quick release. Oh, almost slipped there. Setting a hook on this behemoth. Get up here. And that's the second biggest one of the day. I mean, they're pretty looking fish, and they're healthy. Just uh, not that big. Good news is they're biting. And I'll take that over a slow day. I was kind of worried with the rain moving in this morning. It's starting to get sunny, as you can see. But I was worried with the rain moving in this morning. These fish might just shut down because it's been kind of cool the last two days. We got down in the 60s. And uh, last year, it got really cold really early. Another monster. It got really cold really early. And when it does that at this time of the year, it kind of sets them into, into spawning mode or pre-spawn. There we go. He's got me stuck down in the. Let's see if he swims out of it. I don't think so. I don't want to lose this hook. There we go. Little guy came up and just busted on it as I was pulling it across the surface there. I think he whiffed, and I set the hook into into some lily pads. I'm going to pack up at this lake. I'm going to move up to the next one. All, all, all in all, the northern units, there's two northern units. I'm at the very top one. There are three ponds that are fishable up here. And um, Hidden Lake, I don't, I think, has just one boat ramp to it and nothing else. So that's going to make that kind of hard to fish. And the other pond up here, I don't know if the access is any good. See, uh, from Google Maps, I thought this is all out in the middle of a field, but it's not. It's not. It's in kind of like pine scrub, or pine trees and some scrub brush stuff. So I might get up there, and it may not be accessible at all. But we'll find out. 
And then if this doesn't work, I'm going to move down to the, the next unit, which is down below us, just to the south here. But there are two ponds I think I can fish down there. I don't know how access accessible those are going to be either. Um, I think that's why they kind of made this a little bit more friendly for people to come and fish with a kayak. But we're going to go give it a shot and let's see if we can't catch something a little bit bigger than what we've been catching. Oh. So I hopped into my Camry and I was getting ready to make the drive up to the next pond. And uh, I saw these signs earlier. I didn't think that it was on this, this point. I think the pond was on this road, but it is. So get up to here and it says four wheel drive only, sandy or muddy conditions exist. So I figured, okay, now my Camry and I have been on some crazy adventures. We've gone to places where you wouldn't even dare to take a Camry. We're doing this. And I got about here and I thought, no, that's stupid. Because if I get stuck up here, it's the middle of nowhere, it's a Sunday, so I don't know if anybody in the FWC is working at the office. On top of that, if my wife had to come get me, it'd be an hour away, and she does not have the vehicle to get me out. So yeah, yeah no, we don't, we don't. This is pretty soft right here. See this, this right here, this is probably what would get me stuck. Although, if you do hit it at, you know, like 30 mile an hour, you probably would cruise over top of it. Don't take my advice on that. I'm trying to figure out how I want to approach this. Okay, the other side might actually be better. I think it can wade the other side probably. This on here, not looking so good. This side seems way more open. I could work that entire shoreline just by wading it. This I don't know about. All right, so I tried walking out there. The fact that it's up to my knees, almost, you know, just 15 yards, 15, 20 yards out from where I started over there, doesn't make me feel comfortable walking out in that grassy stuff. Uh, difference between here and, and places like Catfish Creek Preserve where I'll get in the water is I've been there before multiple times. Uh, the water's super crystal clear. And then on top of that, there's just, the, the, the weed line is not that far. It's maybe 15 feet, 15, 20 feet out. And I can deal with that. But this being 30 yards of marsh before I get to the main pond, I, I don't feel comfortable doing it. So we're going to get out of here, go back down to the second lake that we were at, fish out a little bit more from the pier, and then uh, move over to Hidden Lake and see about fishing that from the shore, if there's any place I can get onto that. I think there's a boat ramp there. There it is. Ah! I just saw some stuff jumping out there. Figured something was pushing them up. Figured it might most likely be a gar. Ah, oh, another one. I mean, these, this crankbait, I swear. I missed so many little bites on this thing. The hooks are sharp. Trust me, I've had them in my fingers. They're sharp. Okay. I'm going to let this guy swim with it. Not try to muscle him in. There we go. Two, three, lift. There. Yeah, he's foul hooked. Took a swipe at it. Another tiny little dude. There are several different spots that I uh, plan to go back and fish pretty hard. Once I get a kayak, I gotta fish on now. That's another good guy. Once I get a kayak, so I can get in and, and fish some of the areas that uh, couldn't previously get to. I mean, this is this is definitely one of them. Five ponds you can fish that 
are accessible by kayak. And uh, I really, I really want to try them out. Well, I'm at the southern part, or the southern part of the northern unit of the WMA. I figured I'd check it out. I had a little bit of time. Uh, there's a boat ramp here. It's primitive. And another one up here. Uh, the water's dark. I'm not getting in the water. I was in it up to probably about my shins, just trying to cast out. Heard a couple fish busting. I think something broke me off, but it wasn't down by the knot. It was up uh, a little bit higher, so probably had a frame line that I didn't know about. wasn't paying attention to. But it doesn't look like I can fish these from shore. So I guess that's going to be it for today. Um, definitely, if you got a kayak, bring it up here. I think there's a lot of untapped fishing here that doesn't get a lot of pressure. So I'm going to uh, be back in about a month with a new vehicle and a new uh, and a kayak. So we'll see what happens then. But for now, I guess we're done for today. I'm going to head home, watch some football, enjoy the rest of my weekend. I'll catch you guys in the next one.